Welcome back to my channel and the KCSE Math Paper 1 2019 playlist. So in this video, we are going to be solving for question, not, question 11 on that uh, paper. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and read the question. So it asks, given that the vector B is equal to 2, 4, okay, so this is a uh, column matrix notation, okay, so I've indicated a uh, an arrow sign up here above B just to show that it's a vector but in your KCSE paper this is going to be in bold okay so on the question paper this is actually in bold the, the vector to, to, to demonstrate that it's a vector so given that B is has coordinates 2 4 and C has coordinates 3 2 and A is equal to 3 times uh, the vector C minus 2 times the vector B find the magnitude of the vector A correct to two decimal places okay so here I have drawn a grid but you wouldn't need to do a grid in your uh, answer sheet okay so I've only drawn a grid here just to illustrate the the idea of what a vector is okay so a vector is just something that indicates the location and the magnitude or the size of of something in 2d space okay so it could be a force it could be um, acceleration it could be distance just uh, it's a property of something okay but then here in this case um, we only have two numbers in the column that shows you that it's representing 2d space so, so this represents the x value and this is the y value so that's why I've drawn here this is the x axis that's the y axis if you had an uh, there sometimes you can you, ex you can express it with three um, uh, digits uh, and an extra row here and that's usually to represent 3d space so you'd have an, an extra value here to show the z-axis so the z-axis would be going this way into the board okay so um, let's go ahead now and then see if we can evaluate this just using this grid but you wouldn't have to as I mentioned earlier so B uh, is 2 has coordinates 2 along the x-axis so this is our point zero zero so we go two along the x-axis, one, two, and then four along the y-axis. So one, two, three, four. So this is our point B, okay? And then you can draw a, uh, a vector to join that point uh, to the, the origin, okay? So that's... Alright, I'll just draw that. So that's our point B, and it has coordinates uh, 2, 4. Okay, now um, the, the ask, so the, if they had asked us for the magnitude, we'd literally measure the distance from here to here. That's what's the magnitude of that vector. But then, since we've just been asked, given the position, so that's all we need for now 2, 4. And then the next step, uh, let's find the the coordinates of her ma uh, vector C. So C is 3 along the x-axis and 2 along the y. So here 1, 2, so that's here. So this is our point C and those are the coordinates. Sorry. Yeah, 3, 2. So we can draw uh, a vector from the origin to indicate I should use a smaller ruler than this one. Okay. So here we go. I don't know if I'm going to be accurate now. I don't have a but uh, get the points. So there we go. Okay, so it still worked. Uh, yeah. Alright, so that's our vector C. And if we're asked for the magnitude again, we'd also measure the distance from here to here. But now what they want us to do is find vector A, which is equal to 3 times C, okay? So, uh, so we need to first find out what 3 times C is. 3 times C is 3 times uh, 3, 2, okay? So that's the coordinates. So for vectors, if you just have a scalar quantity, you multiply them by a scalar, you just multiply each number for representing that vector by that scalar. So 3 times 3 is 9, and uh, 3 times 2 is 6. 
So that's the 3C part of uh, um, our equation for A. And then 2B now. So 2B is, again, now twice, and B is 2, 4. Okay. So here, our 2B is 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is... Thank you.